This is me saving this little princess from the bad guy on this day, my birthday, using an improvised Wolverine claw. And oh, by the way, he's the bad guy who abducted this little princess and took her away from her kingdom. This princess doesn't even know what's going on right now. She'll be safe though. Have you ever wondered how my weapon aka Wolverine Claw was made? I improvised these Wolverine Claws using these syringes. And used syringes, by the way. Oh, Chinese. I can't understand Chinese or can even speak that language, but I believe what's written here is some kind of an instruction or a specification or whatever it is. I'm still gonna use it here. You know what? It's actually my first time to assemble this kind of stuff, so please bear with me. Just connect, snug, and secure the syringe house from end to end. There it is. By the way, just a heads up, more clips like this are coming to us. If you find it tedious, hopefully not. Please bear with me and please don't skip ads. <laughs> I need water because I'm thirsty. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Just watch. I put a food color and mix it with water. But why red? I'm glad you asked. Because it looks like blood and we're using syringes. And I'm going to share something related to blood later. Drop some liquid. This is one of the most essential elements to improvise something like a retractable Wolverine claw. I think you already have an idea why. Secure each syringe hose from end to end, going to the hub of the syringe. Secure them tightly. Up. Oh, by the way, don't forget that each plunger's position must be opposite for each other. Otherwise, the retraction mechanism will not be achieved. See? That's the retraction right there. You know what, there were times I can't help but just stare at incredible things like these which really show how simple things can become bigger. This is the system of Dao syringes. If you push the input plunger, the output plunger will push up. If the output plunger is wider than the input plunger, the output force is bigger than the input force, thus the mechanical advantage is bigger than one. In our syringe systems case, all plungers are just the same. This is actually a good example of a hydraulic system. Hydraulic systems allow smaller forces to be multiplied into bigger forces. Pascal's law gives us the mechanics to do a great deal of work with hydraulics. Check this out. We can lift a large amount of weight with a small amount of effort. We can lift 100 pounds by applying just 10 pounds of force, the piston measuring one square inch. Isn't it amazing? What's the connection between a water pistol and a gigantic crane? No connection at all, right? But think about the science behind them. They both use the power of moving liquids in a very similar way. And that technology is called hydraulics. You know that since liquids easily flow from place to place, now you might think they would behave like gases when you try to squeeze them. In fact, liquids are virtually incompressible, much like solids. The fact that liquids don't compress easily is incredibly useful, and that's the science of hydraulics. Alright, the following scenes are the continuation of the making of the remaining two sets of the syringe for the Wolverine retractable claw. As I mentioned earlier, please bear with me if you find this tedious, just don't skip ads. <laughs> I actually also encountered some errors making this stuff, like leaks and better ways to seal the ends of the hose.
I already made two sets before realizing I can use the glue instead. <laughs> Aray, napaso ako sa kit. Ouch. <laughs> After some finishing touch, they are ready to be mounted somewhere so they can be used as a weapon to fight my adversary and save the princess. <laughs> Ta-da! Here it is. Time to prepare myself before facing my adversary. <laughs> There's the princess. You can't beat me. You can't. You can't beat me by just using that scrap. This is not a scrap. This is called retractable Wolverine claw, made using the science of hydraulics. This is not a scrap, this is called retractable Wolverine claw made using the science of hydraulics. These hydraulic systems made from these syringes shows how liquid easily flows from one place to another just like blood in a body. When I donated blood for a friend's family, I've witnessed how it quickly flows out of my body, all the way down to this bag, and later, it was almost full. Blood brings oxygen and nutrients to all the parts of the body so they can keep working. It also fights infections and carries hormones around the body. That's how blood works, and because of its relationship to life, it signifies the supreme offering to God. In fact, in Leviticus 17, it says that, For the life of all flesh, its blood is its life. God's holiness and justice demand that sin be punished, and the only payment for sin is eternal death. And that signifies the blood shed by Jesus Christ. So like Jesus, let us shed blood through blood donations and keep the world beating. For more details, you may contact the following or any Red Cross near you. 
And as always, stay safe, stay curious.